So in this video, I just kind of wanted to shift the focus from the coronavirus. Uh, I know a lot of the, my videos and a lot of the news articles you've been reading have been about the coronavirus. So I'm going to, um, you know, talk about how my experiences were working with FedEx and what I, what I liked about working there, what I didn't much like about it. Um, basically, there wasn't much that I didn't like about it. It was, um, I thought it was really stressful, especially uh, when the drivers broke down or in snow or maybe they hurt somebody in an accident or killed somebody. You, those are, would be all be calls that you could get. I did dispatch, obviously, um, with my, the nature of my disability, having cerebral palsy, it'd be hard for me to um, deliver packages. I went past the uh, physical that you have to do that to work for a ground truck delivery driver. Uh, but what I did was dispatch. There's a few entities within FedEx. There's, uh, as far as I know, ground, freight, office, and then there's custom critical. And there was a big office in Uniontown. I think they're moving it. Um, that's where I worked. Uh, they, they take calls, fleet planner, customer service, human resources. Basically, that was where uh, FedEx Custom Critical was headquartered. It used to be Robertson Express, or Roberts Express. Um, so then FedEx bought them out, and it's called FedEx Custom Critical. They kind of did specialized shipments, but I would assume majority of FedEx entities would be similar if you're doing dispatch within those. The only difference was in, at Custom Critical. Um, drivers were independent contractors, so they weren't really FedEx employees, but still I'm sure there'd be uh, some fleet planner role and some uh, fleet support roles. And I did fleet support, which was a little less uh, technically involved uh, than a fleet planner. I'm sure, you know, my, role, my goal within FedEx was to eventually do fleet planner, but I didn't really love the, I loved the company. Um, I didn't really like what I did. Uh, extremely much and that's why I was applying for other jobs but um, I like the people I worked with uh, it was just you know I wasn't really passionate about it and I guess that's why I decided to move but um, I definitely like what I do a lot better now I'll say that but I have had jobs in the past where I did not like as much as FedEx and I had jobs that I liked a lot more um, than FedEx as well so I'll kind of explain what I did. Uh, basically, um, it was a very fast-paced environment. Um, basically, we were responsible. Our role um, was responsible for um, clearing shipments going into Canada. Customer would have to fax over paperwork to clear the border, and we'd have to make sure with the broker, be in contact with the broker uh, to make sure that paperwork clears the border. Um, if it didn't, it would there be some issues, and we'd have to be in contact with the customer to get the correct paperwork. And if it's like a hazmat load, it was a real pain. Um, obviously, we do we fill out accident reports. Sometimes we'd be in contact with 911 dispatch, um, especially if there's a fatality involved. Fortunately, I never had a fatality accident, but I I did have. You did probably have an accident uh, every other day, every every day maybe um, especially they they when I was there you did work a lot of overtime you were able to I don't think they ever had mandatory overtime when I was there but um, they um, whenever a driver breaks down we would deal with that get a tow um, they could also arrange their own tows because they're independent contractors but basically what a fleet planner would do is that's different from what we did basically while while the drivers on a load we would deal with working the situate working them through how to get out of the situation um, fleet planner would arrange loads for drivers once the load was set up and sold to a customer we had a lot of faithful customers that that we would uh, oftentimes get loads from and they're all time sensitive there would be some sort of discount involved if it were late. So obviously FedEx, you know, being a for-profit company, we always wanted to ensure on-time deliveries, and that was one of 
the competitive advantages of uh, FedEx Custom Critical. Um, so it was timely deliveries. Um, so obviously your your truck breaks down and there's freight on the truck. You have to get another truck to pick up the freight because of timely delivery. So obviously it could be um, stressful, especially when the customer is relying on that. Um, I know there have been times where like there were special orders where it was, um, you know, like the Chiefs would win the Super Bowl. This is just an example. And you have a load that we're taking to Dick's Sporting Goods where like right when the Chiefs win, there has to be all this, all these goods that say like Chiefs Super Bowl champions that everyone goes to Dick's and buys these clothes so that's how it'd be um, that's how it'd be in that driver breaks down so you gotta get that load recovered um, so there'd be a lot of clerical work involved rather than just taking calls but you had to be um, you had to be available for phone calls also while working out the situations in the um, and the jobs and some of the calls were a lot easier like uh, just a, a normal uh, departure call sometimes you'd have to just they, they would have a c-link a, a thing on the called a c-link and this kind of brings me back to a lot of things that there I think every truck driver does and you know a big a big uh, semi tractor trailer truck they would have a c-link in their truck sometimes I would have issues we'd have to you know work out how to fix that um, they would have this card um, used for fuel and sometimes that would work would not work and we have to load money on the card um, there's a lot involved with it and I mean I, I liked it I'm glad with the people I met I'm, I loved working with them and I loved um, I loved what I learned I, I felt like I learned a lot about business and about um, you know, treating every every single uh, call to as much professionalism as, as you could. But, I mean, obviously I didn't think it was a long term because I didn't find that passion there. Uh, so, I'm glad that I, I moved on, but I think it's a good position, especially if you love the transportation industry. I think it'd be a good job for you. I'll work in any entity of FedEx. I know... Um, Northeastern Ohio or Northern Ohio, I don't know. They have like a North Coast 99 uh, best places to work within Northeastern Ohio within the 99 best companies to work for. Uh, and FedEx Custom Critical was in that. So I liked it and I think uh, I think if you want to work there you, it'd be a good opportunity. The thing was though that I, I heard their um, this is part of the reason I, I also was looking elsewhere. They were um, they were going to relocate their headquarters of FedEx Custom Critical, which is in Uniontown, to uh, Nashville, Tennessee. No, it's Memphis, Tennessee. One of the bigger cities in Tennessee where their where FedEx headquarters is. Uh, so that kind of feared me, and I've heard since then a lot of people have left. Um, so I. I'm glad that I left because I, I like what I do and I, I actually make more money where, where I work and I, I like it a lot better. So I'm glad that I moved, but um, the pay was decent, especially with the overtime. Um, management was great. I had the best manager um, probably I've ever, ever, ever had. They weren't my direct manager, but I would work with them because uh, I would work late a lot and he would be my direct manager. Um, and he was one of the definitely one of the best managers, if not the best I've ever had. Probably the best. Um, but I've had a lot of good managers. I've been blessed with that. Uh, most of them, most of the time, we get along with them. You know, in, in all the careers that I've or all the jobs that I've had, could have moved around a lot. So um, I don't think where I'm at now, I'm going to move around. I've been there, um, I think nine months now. So been there quite a while. I was worked at FedEx for about a year. Um, but I, I think I think I'm gonna be here longer than a year where I'm at right now. And because I'm there I don't want to say where it is but if I ever decide to move on I'll probably make a video on it and um, 
I, I really like where I'm at now though, a lot better. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.